Good morning, good morning. I'm going to work. I don't know why, because it's fucking shitty outside. Fuck me, right? Uh, so I was about to call my job and be like, hey, yo, I know you don't want me to come to work because it's like icy outside and snowing, and I don't feel like doing that. But then I realized that's my only job, and I want them to think that I'm going to call out. And I feel like that conversation can go left very quickly. So I'm going to take my black ass to work. That's what I'm about to do. But I have a strong feeling that I'm going to walk in there, open up the store, and go the fuck home. Because they're ignorant like that. But you know what? It's all cool. Because I won't be here for long. Alright, let's go. Okay, so you know what I don't get? You can pick it out. I, oh, I need Starbucks or oh, I need coffee in the morning. I need to wake the fuck up. Bitch, you don't need no damn coffee in the morning. All you need is Jesus. So I'm walking into work now. It's empty as fuck. Ain't nobody here. You see, and that is exactly the reason why I didn't want to come to work. Cause ain't nobody coming in here and I'm not about to make no money. So, fuck my life. Okay, so I want to talk about something right quick. Oh, Valentine's Day is not the friendliest day of the, or the nicest day of the year for me, but I don't know, I just never really, a lot of people don't care for it, I don't really care for it either, I'm just like everybody, not because I'm lonely or anything, I'm perfectly fine being single, but it's just like a reminder that like, damn, it's hard out here, <laughs> not even for love, just in general, just like living and trying to find out what you want to do, and do you have what it takes for you to do what you want to do for the rest of your life or make that happen. Um, so, you know, I worked Valentine's Day and it wasn't really stressful, but it was kind of depressing. Everybody's talking about, oh, I'm lonely, I'm doing this, all this other stuff. I'm like, I'm already going through a lot, you know. I have a lot of things coming up um, that I'm, I'm scared, I'm nervous about. Um, anyway, so I get home and I haven't watched YouTube in a couple of days because I just been like out of it. And I haven't been doing YouTube videos in a couple of days because I just been out of it. Um, so I get home and I look at my, you know, subscription subscription box and I see um, I'm a big Joey, uh of and I'm also a big Daniel, uh Prada fan too, and I'm also a big Daniel fan, right? I don't write. Oh my god. But I get home and I look at the thumbnail and there's a picture of them kissing. And they're they're my absolute favorite couple of all time. I you know how that one person you always say the internet is an escape. You know, you, you find something you can connect to. And I don't know, maybe just seeing them happy, maybe just seeing Joey happy, um, and just you know, Daniel happy living their lives um, to the fullest. It gives me like hope and like, it, it feels like there's a chance for me at the end of the day, you know? Like maybe I can have that one day. Maybe I can be as successful or more as them to, you know? And it feels like they're just living their life. They're not putting on a show for anybody. Um, they're just doing what they want to do, so. I don't want to start crying because I'm at work and I feel like it's coming. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it up. But thank you, uh, Joey and Daniel, just for just for being you. Like you guys don't know, like you actually do help me through my day. Like I watch your vlogs every day. I do. I watch whatever you put out every day. I downloaded the app. I haven't really used it much, but you know, I, like this is how I know I love you guys because I don't read at all. So I bought your book on my phone. I haven't read it. I bought the audio, I listened to it, um, and that was the first book I actually read since like fifth grade, and I'm 20, almost 24 now, so, yeah, you guys are, you know, you're a really big help in my life, you give me hope, and like, I feel like there's a chance for me at the end of the day, but I ain't gonna stop crying because I'm at work, and I feel like it's coming, so I'm going to cut this short, but I hope you guys like the video, it's pretty short today, um, but yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I have some new things coming that I don't want to really say or talk about because I feel like once I put it out there, I'm like um, responsible for letting it happen. So I'm just gonna let 
it happened is just keep working on some stuff. But yeah, thank you, Joey. Thank you, Daniel, just for being awesome. All right, I'm going to work. Bye, guys.